Hey everybody, welcome to the first video podcast of the BriFi Podcast. I'm your host, Brian, and yes, this is the sexy man goddess you've been picturing in your mind all this time listening to my sweet, sweet, sexy voice. But uh, in all honesty, yes, this is what I look like. I know, Mexican, right? But um, no, um, on this podcast, I like to talk about comic books. Uh, today is Wednesday, so that means new comic books came out today. Two comic books that I'm following right now came out this week. Uh, Deadpool, issue number 28, and The Walking Dead, issue number 127, A New Beginning. So I'm pretty stoked to talk about those. Um, so let's already get started into that. I got issue number 28 of Deadpool right here, so let's break it open a little bit and talk about it. You know, when I first picked up Deadpool, it was because I kind of thought he was cool, but also my friend David forced me to go into a comic book shop and made me get a comic book. Okay, maybe stretching the truth there a bit, but Deadpool was the first comic book that I did pick up, and I'm really uh, happy that I picked him up. I started with the uh, all new or the Marvel Now stuff with Deadpool, and it's been fantastic ever since he's been killing or re-killing dead presidents to uh, now getting married and now going on his honeymoon. But um, Deadpool has always had great stories in this uh, so far, and great artwork in his run so far. So I've just it's been one of my favorite comic books to read right now. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, so far as my thoughts on this particular issue, sorry, I gotta get my mouse here, I wrote some notes down, um, in the last issue of Deadpool, he does get married, so, um, it's wonderful, it's fun to see him happy, see everyone just happy and full of just the comic being full of Deadpool being dead cool, by the way, and that was my cat, if you heard that, jumping around making a bunch of noise, but, um, now that the wedding's over, it's kind of time, uh, for the honeymoon, and where does, uh, Deadpool want to take his honey to Tokyo. Don't know if you can really see that. But anyway, um, yeah, they go to Tokyo, enjoy some time. Of course, Deadpool finds himself in trouble because he has to carry a suitcase full of money around. And so the Asian Oliver Twist decides to kind of uh, steal his money and run off with it. And his little Asian accomplices decide to summon these Yu-Gi-Oh style or just weird shape monster things to attack Deadpool and Shikla and kind of get him off his tail. But uh, eventually the Yakuza corrupt cops and ninjas from the hand get involved and uh, everything goes w uh, wishy-washy, crazy, insane, crazy cool. But uh, Shikla, over some time, finally just has enough of it, hulks out, goes into her crazy dragon form and just eats people. And that results in everyone just kind of, okay, okay, whoa, sorry, we made a mistake. I'm Sorry, all right, and so they give uh, Deadpool back his briefcase, and as soon after that, um, you learn the reason why uh, Deadpool went to Tokyo. It's to visit his good old friend, the knockoff Nightcrawler. Yes, knockoff Nightcrawler, also known as Kim, is there. Uh, Kim helped rescue Deadpool from North Korea uh, during the good, the bad, and the ugly storyline, and so Deadpool's kind of returning the favor there. Uh, it has the money for him to help kind of get Kim's family that's trapped in North Korea out of North Korea, and it kind of helps clear his conscience and closes off that loose end. However, the issue kind of ends on a... Alright, this is spoilers, guys, so just turn away right now if you don't want to see this. Uh, you see knock off a uh, nightcrawler starting to walk away and then he begins to cough up blood or whatever and bamps out of there. So things might not be going too hot for uh, Kim, uh, aka the not the Xerox. Yeah, Xerox copy nightcrawler. Uh, we'll have to see in the next issue, which I was even excited for to read. Um, is it worth it? Well, um, this comic used to be uh, two ninety nine, but since has gone up to three ninety nine. So, if you're looking for cheaper comics to read, Deadpool's not that cheaper comic. I, however, I've loved the character of Deadpool, and I've been following Deadpool's story on the Marvel Now stuff for some time. So, four dollars not that bad for me. In fact, I still think this story, even though it is four dollars, it does present itself better than some already $4 uh, books that Marvel puts out. Like Some of the Avengers books, I, I, they're just three ninety nine because they're Avengers books. But uh, I think Deadpool's got a good enough story where it makes sense that he's three ninety nine because it's a better quality comic, to, in my opinion. Now, 
you guys could be thinking I'm total wrong and douchey or whatever, whatever you want to think. That's cool. But I really enjoy Deadpool and I think you guys should read it too because it's really enjoyable. Uh, the next issue I got is The Walking Dead, issue number 127, all new. Let's see if I can focus the camera right there. Yeah, you can kind of see it, not really, because of the glare from the light that I have. But if I don't have it, it looks a little weird. Watch. And now I'm all dark and stuff. Well, not too dark. But I'm um, dark enough where you can't really see me. Hey, and there the Astros game is in the background right there. But, so... Let me scroll to my notes on The Walking Dead. Sorry, guys. Um, this is, I'm new to this. I'm, I'm a virgin, so please go easy on me. But not too easy, because I like it. But yeah, so um, hands down, Walking Dead is one of my favorite comic books uh, series that I've been reading. And ever since I got my hands on the two compendiums and all the trades and then all the singles of All Out War, I'm just addicted. I mean, you can probably tell I'm addicted. Uh, I watch the TV show. I do everything. I love just thinking about what's going to happen next and uh, like see how the TV show not not just mirrors but goes different than the comic book and but how they all still kind of have the same destiny of where they're going to so I'm really liking that but uh, if you guys aren't into the comic book but are into the TV show this is an interesting start to uh, hop on to The Walking Dead because after all that war things are changing really big and I'm this will might affect the show whenever they get to this point in the comics but as of right now if you just want a cool story to read i think this is a great place to start uh it's 44 pages long so you're getting two books for the price of one 2.99 so that's a great deal already so um and it's great to see all the characters in here so i uh, definitely pick this book but um after reading this it kind of starts out with some a new character i mean people have been talking about who is this on the cover of The Walking Dead. Who is she? Does that mean Rick's dead? Well, um, if you followed any of The Walking Dead news, you know that Robert Kirkman only did the covers like this so that way no one would know that what would happen at the end of All Out War. But you do learn that this woman is named Magnus, or Magna. Sorry, I said Magnus. That makes her sound really old, but even Magna is kind of an old name if you think about it. And well, her and her group of survivors are, you know, in a bad way if you, uh, can see from there but they get rescued from some familiar faces uh throughout the comic book uh, and it's kind of cool i don't want to spoil too much of this comic because i know there's some really strong readers out there that love the walking dead and will eat me but uh here's a little scene i hope you can't tell who that is riding on horseback but let's just say he's our favorite gay savior jesus christ but um oh man wow sorry i just get caught lost looking at this book it's phenomenal i love when charlie adlard um has some time to draw these books uh where you know during all that war he was a little rushed but here it seems like he's had a lot of time to finish this book his artwork's fantastic it looks great in this issue um but so the group leads away the zombie horde to save uh magna and her group and you kind of learn a little bit more about uh the new alexandria now that rick's in charge there oh spoiler alert but i figured you'd figure that out from now so you get to see how things have changed since uh, all our wars passed in the letter hacks at the end of the comic book let me show you letter hacks um they let you know that two years has passed since all out war's conclusion and it's kind of crazy to see some of these people who look very much the same but do look different in the same way rick looks a little bit different he's sporting some new stuff too which is cool to see carl looks a lot older now he looks much closer to the age that tv carl looks so um like it love it or hate it um it does look different but he does look a little bit cooler he's got uh sunglasses now instead of the hat to cover his eye and he kind of looks hip hipsterish man he's got a backpack that's totally hipster but um yeah totally great issue um story's great you get to learn how things are uh, with the hilltop with alexandria they mentioned the kingdom i believe just a little bit so it's just so cool it's so exciting to see where everything's at and now what you learn is they're starting to specialize now so you're getting alexandria is doing like munitions and stuff and 
the hilltops doing like the blacksmithing creating weapons and stuff so it's really cool to see that all these things are coming together and they're making a better life it's kind of like a ha in the face of negan who is still a prisoner of rick's down in his basement dungeon jail cell thing and you also learn that carl has a new friend but who is that friend? I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to read this comic book. You want to know who his friend is? Spoiler alert. It's your mom. No, it's Negan. OMG. But um, yeah, totally great issue. Great story. You're getting two books for the price of one. Fantastic. I love Robert Kirkman's uh, writing. It's always great to have. Uh, well, always great to read. It's always exciting. And the one thing that you get from this issue... Um, is a new attitude. Uh, there's one of hope, looking forward to a positive future, but if there's anything Robert Kirkman's taught me is that you should fear hope, you should fear bright outlook, you should fear a positive future. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now, and I'm scared for Rick and the others because something bad is about to happen. And I don't know if it's gonna come from these new survivors that they brought in, or if it's gonna come from Negan because he's gonna get out. I don't know. I'm excited and scared, and my nipples are getting hard. But is this book worth it? Yes, it's totally worth it. Extremely worth it. It's fantastically worth it. Two books, 44 pages, only for $4. That's half the price. Or, I'm sorry, not $4, $3. That's even better. So you're getting like two issues for $1.50 and they're phenomenal. So go out and read it and make me a happy person. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'm trying to make them as short as possible, but um, Oh, let me look here. I got some more stuff that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, now, thank you guys so much for uh, watching, but uh, just a little quick review. I know this is a quick video, but a little quick uh, thing. Deadpool is really fun to read. If you're not reading it and you like fun, you need to start reading this book. Walking Dead has a new beginning, which I think is great for new readers, but you'll be doing yourself a disservice if you just don't go grab the compendium, go grab all the trades and catch up on everything because it's that fan fantastic um also uh, there's i've always told people on my podcast of great ways to get into comic books uh, one of the ways is to go to your local library and get some free trades that you can rent out you know read them take them back i got to read all the complete series to why the last man that way i've read some uh phenomenal batman stories that way and uh iron man and spider-man that way so check out your local library for a chance to read some uh comic comic books to get like backstory on characters or just cool story arcs that people have always talked about but you've never read actually um another way that i just i don't know why this escaped me but digital comics uh there's an app that i know of called comicsology.com and you can buy digital comics you can read them on your smartphone uh smartphone uh tablets if you have i don't have a tablet to show you so i don't have a tablet but uh you can read on your ipad uh Apple phone, uh, I think uh, Android phones take them too. It's a great way to just read comics on the go or just, you know, grab a swipe, look at a few things or whatever while you get the chance, like on the train, on the bus, whatever. But um, also, I do give out free digital comics on my Facebook page, my Twitter page, and on my actual podcast that I do. So um, if you want a great way to try to grab some free digital comics, uh, I gave out already on my Facebook page, uh, The Superior Spider-Man issue number 14. And currently that's kind of what I'm doing on my Facebook page is Superior Spider-Man. Whereas on my Twitter page, I am giving out uh, The Mighty Avengers number five on Twitter. That's uh, two series that I've been giving out digitally for now. And I've thrown in some special issues every now and then. Like uh, last podcast, I gave out uh, all, the all new Amazing Spider-Man number one. And, and like I said, in this last podcast, um, I'm giving out uh, Deadpool issue number 28 so um always try to read everything I just do these videos just to kind of be a little short thing so you guys can actually see the comic books I'm talking about um but go to my Facebook page that's www.facebook.com slash podcast follow me on Twitter that's at podcast and check out uh, show my Bandcamp page some love whereas actually I post the raw uh video or raw uh soundtrack to my podcast and that's bryfipodcast.bandcamp.com so thank you guys so much for uh, checking out this video please go to my uh, bleh, my facebook and twitter and bandcamp page show me some love there uh you guys have been great just thank you guys so much for all your support and my catchphrase peace <laughs>